a while back, I did this webinar on building advanced applications with LLMs. So some of the slides are a little bit outdated. So there are a few things I want to be able to do with these slides. So I want to be able to, for instance, reuse it to prepare a special lesson for some students that have been asking me, how do they apply some of the concepts that I was introducing or I was talking about in this presentation? So for instance, prompting technique, how do you apply them? How do you apply this concept of React Agent? What are the sort of use cases as well? And so on. I'd love to be able to use Notebook LM to come up with quizzes and to be able to generate different artifacts like notes, additional notes that I can provide to students to be able to study all these advanced concepts related to large language models. Providing quizzes, suggesting quizzes, suggesting exercises as well that I can provide students. So that's what I'm going to be using Notebook LM for. Note that I did this presentation using Google Slides. You can add Google Slides as a source in Notebook LM. So we're going to be using that in this section. So I'm going to start a new notebook here, select this notebook, and then I'm going to select Google Slides, and then I'm going to go to Shared With Me. So this is the presentation that I shared between my accounts. So make sure you have access to that presentation before you upload it as a source. So if I go to it, you will see that all the slides are here. So what I can do from here is I could do a couple of things. So the first thing I want to do is I want to generate an audio overview of this presentation. There might be a few things that I'm forgetting from the presentation because I did this presentation like a couple of months ago. So I want to recap. And that's an excellent use case for audio overview. So I can go and hit generate here. So now the audio overview is generating. So here is an audio overview now of the lecture. So now I can go and play it. All right. So you've been digging into Elvis Saravia's presentation, building advanced applications with LLMs. It seems like you're ready to move past just chatting with chatbots. Yeah, this is different. It's more like um, using LLMs to build really complex systems, not just asking for a poem. Definitely next level. And from the looks of these slides, we're going to cover it all. Advanced prompting techniques, the tools you need, even React agents and RE systems. So whether you're prepping for a big meeting on LLMs or you want to build your own application or just curious about this stuff, this deep dive is for you. That's what the presentation is about, as you can see in the slides right here. So that's a good way to get a recap of content that you may have worked on a long time ago and you just need to review it. All right, assuming I have reviewed this and I already know what I want to do here, what I can do now is I can try to add quizzes. So the main goal of this use case is that I want to use the slides and I want to improve the lecture and I want to add quizzes. I want to use Notebook LM to suggest exercises and so forth and be able to generate other artifacts like notes that I can share with my students. So let's get started with that. So the first one is I'm going to add a quiz. So I can go here. This is already selected and I can prompt it. Can you add a multiple, multiple choice quiz for slide thin? So I'm going to focus on slide thin along with the correct answers, correct answers. And what is slide 10? Let's look at that. So you can see here that slide 10 is about external tools and retrieval systems. So I want to add a multiple choice just to see if students can better understand it. So this is something I'm going to add to the presentation itself. We can go and generate that now, and we will double check whether things are working correctly here. So I'm going to keep this open. OK, so that was passed. And we can see here a multiple choice quiz based on slide 10 along with the correct answers. So question one, what is the purpose of external tools and retrieval systems when working with LLMs? A, to generate creative text formats like poems, code, scripts, and so on. B, to enhance the capabilities and reliability of LLMs. C, to provide a visual representation of data for better understanding. And D, to store and manage large data sets for LLM training. So the correct answer for this is B to enhance the capabilities and reliability of LLMs. This is something I mentioned here. So that's a nice quiz. That's something that I could add as a follow-up here just to keep the class engaging when I'm delivering the presentation or lecture. And we have a few more examples here, question two, question three, and we can keep generating this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. This is really useful already. And then I'm going to give it a name, quiz for external tools and LLMs. It's good to be naming things explicitly because that way you can find it easily. And also it gave me a citation. Just want to check that. You can see that it's citing the slide itself. So it has a good understanding of the slides and where exactly those slides are located. All right. So the next one that I want to do here is I actually want to generate some quick notes for slide 15. So this slide 15 is basically summarizing how you should approach prompt engineering. When do you use chain of thought? 
when do you use agentic workflow and how does it all make sense in a pipeline? Like if you're following and you're working in a use case with LLMs, first you do zero shot prompting and then you go through these different steps. And then eventually you want to maybe build a rag depending on whether you are optimizing context or you want to apply fine tuning if you want to refine the style and tone of the outputs of the LLMs. So I want to ask the model to generate more detailed notes for this because this might not be enough for the students, right? They look at it, they're like a little bit confused. I've added a few things here and there, but if I add this in a note version, it might be super useful for students. So I want to actually generate that artifact. So I'm going to go here as I've been doing. And then I'm going to say, can you write a detailed explanation to slide 15? I can just tell it whichever slide. This is the cool thing about supporting slides here in Notebook LM, right? So I'm going to go here and then say, send. I'm going to send that to Gemini and Gemini is going to do its magic. All right, here we go. So these are the notes for the explanation to slide 15. Starts with the basics, prompt engineering. So you can see even categorizing and doing headlines here. This is nice. And you can see that it's saying zero shot prompt. So it has good understanding of this figure. This is very impressive because it has an understanding of the text. It has an understanding of what content I'm talking about. And it also has an understanding of the figures inside the slides. That's a very powerful feature that I think has a lot of potential. And you can see how I'm using it already. It says zero shot prompt is not enough. Then use free shot prompt for even better performance. You may use many shot prompt and so on. You can see it saying exemplars 50 to 100. And I mentioned that somewhere. You can see the citation there. And then it says incorporating reasoning and text. Right, that's chain of thought. And then advanced techniques, agentic workflows for fine tuning and so on. And fine tuning. And then retrieval augmented generation. So these are nice notes, right? They're more comprehensive and more detailed compared to what I have here. And I think Notebook LM did a great job at summarizing all of this. Now I'm going to save this as well. So now it's saved as notes. So I'm going to say optimizing LLM performance notes. So I have the quizzes. I have the notes. And the last thing I want to do here is I want to create exercises. In particular, I want to create an exercise for this table here. This table is talking about prompting techniques and when to use it. So I want to create a nice quiz here because I want students to understand when they should apply each of these techniques. So I'm going to prompt it here. I want to build an exercise on the prompting techniques mentioned. I'm not going to mention the slide this time. And I'm going to say, can you please help with some creative, creative exercises for the students to work on. See here, I'm testing not only the capability of Notebook LM to look at the content and be able to read the information in the table, which are the prompting techniques, but on top of that, it should be able to do creative tasks for me, which in this case is to create exercises for the students to work on. And in this case, I did not give it the slide number. This one doesn't have a slide number, so it should still be able to pick it up because it has it in context. All right, here we go. So it says, here are some creative exercises for students to work on based on the prompting techniques mentioned in the sources. Zero shot prompting exercise, ask students to develop zero shot prompts for a variety of tasks such as translation, summarizing factual facts. I really like that. Few shot prompting exercise provides students with examples of few shot prompts and then ask them to identify the examples used to steer the model. That's nice because then students can reason about the few shot examples, which is really important when designing that. Chain of thought uh, as well, some exercises there. There's one for React as well. This one says present students with a task that requires an LLM to interact with external tools. Ask them to design a React agent that can effectively solve the task by reasoning about information needed and deciding which actions to take. Use appropriate tools such as search engines or APIs. Combine and retrieve information with its reasoning to generate the final answer. And then there's also one for RAG here. So you can see that it gives me some examples. Maybe it lacks specificity, but maybe if I can provide it more context and examples, it can do a better job. But this is already great. And so I'm going to save this because I have some ideas on how I might want to use this already. So this one, I'm going to name this exercises to understand prompt engineering. There we go. Techniques. All right. That's done. Great. So that's basically what I want to show you, how to integrate slides. Notebook LM has good understanding of images, figures, tables, and the entire slide deck. And you can use that to do things like exercises, creating notes for students, adding quizzes as well. This is awesome because now the students can use this to continue building on their knowledge. And I can use this to improve my lectures and my courses. So this is another excellent way on how you can use Notebook LM.